Right then, we'll go back to the next video. This time we are checking out something from Gallard. Or Gallard. Sorry if I crucified your name. But this one is their phase change thermal interface. Now I have put this against the Aeronaut and the Cryonaut from Thermal Grizzly. So let's see how this compares to a mid-tier to a top of the range thermal paste. Right, so we need to get some information before we get into any of the actual uh, results I've done due to my testing. Now, it says by easier application. Yes, it is easier than thermal paste. And it says by here, easier application and removal. Now, the removal part, I wouldn't believe because I tried removing it. Yeah, it's, it's okay to remove, but it comes off in pieces. So, yeah. It says ultra heat conductivity now what i will say is it's actually a good thermal interface it does say ultra durable and non curing it says non electrical conductive that's good non bleeding and user friendly now when they say non conducting it literally means that what if it spills out it's not conductive at all to your electronics now what it says by here these are the instructions it says for you to clean the top of the cpu and the cooler contact it says be a place on top of the cpu intel cooler or amd wipe the heat phase ultra with the edge of a card credit card wait for three minutes remove the transparent film gently and leave the heat phase ultra on top of the cpu then install the cooler now it does state on the website that you can put this on your cooler as well here is what they say is for the actual thermos the actual operating temperature range and it says by operating temperature range is between minus 50 minus 50 and 120 celsius now the phase transition temperature is 45 celsius which that could actually happen at any point when you're actually doing anything on the computer but it says we have thermal conductivity is 8.5 watts meter kelvin right then so when it comes to the actual thermal testing the cpu i used was the 5900x with pbo enabled so it did it is going rather high compared to what it generally does so when it comes to the cooler i am using the vind sl125 from valkyrie it's a dual it's a single tower cooler but it's got two fans so for the initial testing i did my general run uh, benchmarks which is cinebench r23 blender classroom blender bmw and 3d mark cp test what i'm gonna do first is do the cryonaut because that's the best one or the most expensive one here so for the cryonaut for cinebench r23 the idles are 31 celsius with a max of 81 blender classroom the idles were 31 with a max of 80 blender bmw the idles are 31 with a max of 80 3d mark cpu test the idles are 31 with a max of 66 celsius and for the probably the least best thermal paste here which is the aeronaut is one of the really like the budget type ones it's not the best but then again it's not the worst one but for the cinebench r23 the idles for this through the all the tests are exactly the same 31 celsius but the max is for Cinebench R23 with a max of 85 Celsius. Blender Classroom, Idols 31, max 85 Celsius again. Blender BMW, Idols 31 Celsius with a max of 84. And 3D Mark CPU test, Idols with 31 Celsius with a max of 76 Celsius. For the Gelard, phase change thermal interface. For Cinebench R23, the Idols with 31 Celsius with a max of 83. Blender Classroom, the idles are 31 with a max of 82. Blender BMW, the idles are 31 with a max of 82. 3D Mark CPU test, the idles are 31 Celsius with a max of 73 Celsius. Right then, so, right, what I will say is it literally, it is two to three degrees worse than the Cryonaut, which considering Cryonaut is a very good thermal interface material, it is one of the best on the market yeah and that comes with a good premium price as well but for gelard or gelard they aren't asking an absolute fortune for this and what i will say for them is 
it did better than Aeronaut, but not as good as Cryonaut. Now, I don't generally do videos when it comes to thermal paste because I generally don't see the point because if you buy the best one that's recommended, usually that's probably the best one to buy. But I know that Cryonaut from Thermal Grizzly is one of the best on the market, if not the best. And I know for a fact that Aeronaut is also one of a, it's a very good thermal paste. And it's a lot cheaper than Cryonaut. But for Gellard, what I will say is this held up remarkably well. What I would say otherwise that it's good to, it's easy to apply. I wouldn't say the removal is just as easy because it was coming off in chunks when I was trying to take it off. So that part I think you need to work on. I will say that once the testing was done, it literally looked like there'd been no change whatsoever with this pad or thermal interface material. So that part was true. It performed well when it comes in terms of the thermals. And to be honest, they're not going to be asking a stupid or a really marked the price for this. Now, I will make sure to put the price up right here in the video so you guys can know what the price is. And I will say that if you were looking for something that's going to be easy to install and something that you can leave on your CPU on, that is where this might actually be better because this isn't like... So it's not going to be like the cryo sheet from Thermal Grizzly or the ultra high performance carbon thermal pad so it's not going to be like them the cryo sheet you can leave that's literally like a carbon cutout of some of carbon and you just stick it on your computer it's easier for applications and of course it's better for when you're testing but this but here you seriously want to buy a thermal something that's a thermal interface something that's not as expensive maybe as cryonaut then this is definitely a good option to buy performance definitely up there and because this is phase change means at 45 celsius it starts changing and then once it cools down it goes back to its normal state which to be fair did experience that in the video so yeah look i'd like to say a big thank you to Gellard for sending that out sent it out a while ago but i was waiting to get like some top end thermal paste to try it up against to see if it even can compare to thermal grizzlies cry or not so yeah don't forget to subscribe because i've just had confirmation that two air coolers from thermal right the ones you've been asking and bugging me for are on their way and then their brand new aios they will be on their way after that so yeah this is richard from welsh tech i hope you guys have a fantastic weekend ahead of you and yeah i'll see you in the next one guys bye